Gentlemen, we now move on to fight number 10 here. Three, uh, three minute rounds of welterweight action is what is coming up. We look forward to seeing the two men go about this next contest. It is Quinlan Kelly from Townsville. He's coming up against the Hoff, Matty Von Hoff. He was born in Redcliffe and he fights out of SAW MMA Ito Dojo. So ladies and gentlemen, another big contest coming up here. It is the welterweight division. And we can see making his way to the cage. First of all, it is Quinlan Kelly from the blue corner fighting out of the Ronan Academy. A couple of his heroes in the game are Rob Whittaker and Anderson the Spider Silver. He comes into this contest with an amateur record, one fight and one loss, that win coming by way of KO. And Benny, his favorite submission is a Peruvian necktie. Now that is an <laughs> obscure and interesting one, but that is his favorite submission to perform, the Peruvian necktie. Mate, I love the boys from uh, Ronan Academy. Uh, Quinn's brother, Taylor Kelly, uh, one of my favorite fighters as well. Uh, but back in the day, he's a country boy. He's done some great things. So to see Quinn in the cage is a big thing for me. I think it's fantastic. I'm looking to see how he handles it tonight. He's got a big test. Some big heroes there in his corner, as we've mentioned, Ben. He's coming up against a very tough opponent in the Hoff, Matty Von Hoff. We're looking forward to seeing this contest. But Quinlan Kelly, the man with a Peruvian necktie, is the one that he wants to complete. His prediction when asked about this fight, Ben, was a third round stoppage. So he's looking to take it towards the latter ends of the contest. And if he can pull off that stoppage, that would be fantastic for him. And now his opponent gets ready to make his way cage side. It is indeed the Hoff, Matty Von Hoff. He was born in Redcliffe, the home of the Dolphins. He's making his debut this evening. So he comes up against someone which has a little bit of experience, two fights versus zero fights. However, his ambitions are to climb the rankings of the XFC middleweight division. And he'll also be looking to put himself in a position where he can actually get a title shot down the future. But first things first, he's got to make his debut this evening. He's got to get that victory. He said that he's had a very, very good camp and that he is predicting a stoppage in round number two. So he's got a round two prediction and a round three prediction to stop this fight. I guess we're going to find out very soon. Very interesting contest here. The welterweight division, one of the tightest divisions. A lot of great fighters come out of the welterweight division, the lightweight division, those middle divisions of the XFC. We're looking forward to seeing how they go. Matty Von Hoff, a fifth degree black belt submission artist. When it comes to wrestling, he's been fighting in Japan for 20 plus years. He's got the experience. Let's see if that good camp will be big for him. It's a big contest here. It's fight number 10, three. Three minute rounds of welterweight action here at XFC 41, a new era. We now go down to Daniel Mosley for the official introduction. So ladies and gentlemen, fight number 10 this evening is an amateur middleweight bout which will be contested over three three minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 83.65 kilos and trains out of Ronin Academy, holding an amateur MMA record of one win with one defeat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Quinlan Kelly. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 83.4 kilos and trains out of Saw MMA Ito Dojo. Tonight, he makes his MMA debut. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Matty the Hoff Van Hoff. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Carl Anderson. Crowd getting into this one, Benny. We're all ready to go. This should be a great contest. A welterweight action here at XFC 41. The Kelly boys, there's no tougher in the game. And the Hoff comes out quick. Big start in this contest from both men. Huge pressure from the Hoff. Yeah, very entertaining little grappling scramble there. Saw Quinlan Kelly doing a good job to uh, make sure that uh, Matty, Ho Matty Hoff couldn't uh, secure position there on the back. And now things will slow down a little bit, it looks. 
Both men coming out hard here, gents. What a great start to this contest. Quinlan Kelly, Matty Von Hoff, here in the XFC welterweight division. Good shots there, Kelly lands. Yeah, Quinn landing some good shots there. Nice little knee. Still got his composure, that's good. Started off very quick. Both boys now in a feeling out process. Very fast start there, gents, but looking now, they're getting in their positions, taking their time. Yes, yeah, so of course, Quinlan Kelly out of Ronan Academy. So training under Chris Spence there, and uh, oh, heavy exchange. Nice shot from the Hoff. Yeah, Chris Spence has been around a long time. He's done a lot of good things for the boys up north Queensland as Kelly got the takedown. The Hoff jumps straight back to his feet. So nice work here from Quinlan Kelly now looking to try and get uh, to some sort of back control position as we see Matty Hoff uh, now trying to square up those hips and avoid that back exposure. Well done there from the Hoff. Quinlan Kelly putting in that pressure. Similar to Mark Richardson earlier, keeping that head tight up against the jaw, pushing him towards the cage. Good shot. Nice little shot landed there by Kelly. Ooh, looking for the Superman. Nice outside leg kick there from the Hoff. Kelly now just starting to relax and find his rhythm. Down the ground they go, gents. Now, oh, wow, interesting little transition there. It looks like the, it looked like sorry the Hoff went for an outside trip, but. Uh, Quinlan Kelly keeping his balance and ending up on top here in this scramble. Now in half guard on top. And as we see, a beautiful work there looking at for the underhook. But a potential DAS opportunity. It looked like uh, Quinlan Kelly thought about the DAS there for a second. But we saw the Hoff do a good job basing out. Kelly comes from a strong wrestling family. So he's, he's happy. He's quite comfortable in this position. Good side control. Knees landed from that position. Just looking to now transition. Maybe take that back if he can. So yeah, very strong hips there from the wrestler, Quinlan Kelly. Nice work there by Kelly. Got to be careful with his position there. That's the end of the round, gentlemen. Another intriguing round here at XFC 41. Quinlan Kelly perhaps having the better of those early exchanges for the Hoff well and truly in that contest. Yeah, some very technical grappling exchanges there. That was a, uh, that was a fun one to watch, but uh, I do agree with you there. I think Quinlan Kelly probably getting the best of the opening stanza as we see the uh, corner teams go to work now of course for mma ito dojo in the corner for the hoff and uh ronan academy doing the work there for quinlan kelly of course ronan academy really producing some great fighters as of late some uh, really exciting up and comers coming through that gym of course hannah thomas on the female side of things and uh cooper rush royal who's just a phenomenal talent at uh, at flyweight he's he's certainly one to watch as it now it looks like we're going to get back on the way here as Carl Anderson clears the cage. Getting ready for round number two here, gentlemen. Quinlan Kelly looking ready. Matty Von Hoff in a similar position. A great first round here of this contest. Fight number 10 at XFC 41. A new era waiting for that cage to get closed. Hold on to your hats. Here we go. Round number two. Yeah, Quinn Kelly now looking far more relaxed. He's got to watch those high kicks, though, because the Hoff is looking to capitalise there, as Quinn does end up in top position now. Yeah, so once again, despite uh, the Hoff initiating the takedown sequence, it is Quinlan Kelly ending up on top. Let's see if he looks to pass here. Beautiful work leading with the knee to get that pass, but uh, nice regard from... The Hoff, but only momentarily as he gets rolled and now into a front control position is Quinlan Kelly. Nice transition there by Kelly. Jens Kelly looking very impressive for looks, his debut. Looks like wonderful. an anaconda potentially getting locked up here. He's got the gable grip. We'll see if he slides through to the bicep. Oh, he looked for the Peruvian necktie there for a second. <laughs> we were discussing that one earlier, Dan. It's one of his favourites. We've been talking about that. Daniel, he's looking for it. This is a great fight. Jeez, I can't remember the last time I saw a Peruvian necktie in MMA. I saw Wombat try and pull one off at about 2 p.m. this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's Great chain that. wrestling there by Kelly as he goes for the foot stomp. Good cage pressure. Oy. Good foot stomps there. Oh, well done. Beautiful. Very nice off cage there. Side so control. As this fight goes on, Kelly seems to get stronger and stronger.
Just doing such a good job riding the transitions here, Quinlan Kelly. Not forcing anything, just basically going where the Hoff wants to, but keeping his dominant positions here on top. Some big knees to the body. Good Huge knees, knees, to, the knees body. to the bread basket there. They do take their toll. Oh, standing guillotine. That's tight, but oh, good job there from the Hoff. Yeah, Hoff did a good job there to shake that off. Good big shot him. there by the Hoff. I like that. He's got to fight back. Lands a left jab there, Benny. He needed to. The Hoff is not out of this one yet. Do not count him out. Oh, big high kick shot. From the Beautiful hips there. Lovely stuff by Kelly there. Nice knee to the body again from Quinlan as he gets that control. Jeez, I want to see the Hoff stand up, I think. I want to see him start banging. That's yeah. a better position for him, it seems like, to actually get back up and trade. Yeah, really interesting that he actually shot for that takedown. I thought he was having a bit of success on the feet. So, uh, as we see Quinlan Kelly go to the back, not much time left, though, and nice work from the Hoff rolling clear of that. Yeah, Kelly, uh, very Ooh, similar yeah. styles to his brother Taylor. Very dominating, very strong. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Good shots there from Kelly. He's looked really, really good. And another great round for him in the books, gents. He's looked excellent. And for a debut, looked nice and calm inside the cage. Yeah, wow. Ronan Academy, just, <laughs> I can't get over how good a fighters they're producing at the moment. It's just a young crop of uh, juniors coming through that are just absolutely killing it Quinlan Kelly this is actually his third one he's uh, one and one in MMA so he's on his way to putting another W in the books here the Hoff uh, seemingly with some work to do gentlemen moving into this last round yeah coming into the last round I think Hoff's got no choice he's gonna have to start throwing those hands he's gonna have to create some distance look whilst it goes sometimes 50 50 on the ground I think Taylor's got his measure there the Hoff the best chance he has at the moment is start to make the fight ugly throw some big shots Hope they land and take Kelly into some deep water. Absolutely, Ben. Looks like his best spot is to stand up and trade Quinlan Kelly on our scorecards. Anyway, looking like he's in charge. He's screaming, though, Quinlan Kelly for the seconds to go Hang down. Well, that's it. It's been waved off. It's, been it's waved over. Off. Very interesting. Yeah, it look. is over. It's been waved off. Quinlan Kelly with the victory. Doesn't even need to go. Mate, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that was going to be a great fight. Look, again. Yes. Quinlan Kelly just looking at Carl Anderson going, I won though, right? <laughs> what is, I'm up, aren't I? I've done it. You have indeed, sir. Well done, well, I can't, Kelly. Look, look I'm really looking to see both of the boys he's, back. He's looking at us, wondering as well what was going on there, making sure he got up. But he has. Well done, Quinlan. A good performance. We won't know what happened with the scorecards. However, in our mind, you probably did enough in that position yeah, anyway. Looks like well done. It could be a nose or a mouse under the eye, whatever it is. Again, his corner's done a great job in protecting the best interest of his fighter. And that's what they're there to do. These guys will fight all night. They'll die in the cage. That's why you need good cornermen. And you've talked about that all night, Benny. Importantly, that it is up to a very good corner to step in as required to actually protect their fighters. And that's what's happened again. Mate, I'm just glad to see the Kelly boys back. <laughs> yeah. Is his brother Taylor in there? He was brilliant in his day. Yes. Love to see him fight again. Absolutely. Well done. We now go to Daniel Mosley for the official decision. So, ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at five minutes of round number two, declaring your winner by TKO due to a corner stoppage in the blue corner, Quinlan Kelly. Quinlan Kelly with the victory. As we mentioned, we won't know what those scorecards said. However, it doesn't matter now. The doctor stopping the contest at the end of the second round. Quinlan Kelly coming away with the victory. What a great performance for him. He looked very, very calm on the debut. Nothing bothered him there inside the cage. Did some excellent work on the ground, maneuvering into position really well. Side control, had some rear control, and also got on top as well. He was excellent and a very, very good performance from Quinlan Kelly. The winner of fight number 10 here. That was a great contest in the welterweight division of XFC Extreme Fighting Championship. Number 41, a new era. Wombat Jones' first event as president in charge. And it's a packed out night here at Mansfield Tavern. Excellent work from Quinlan Kelly. He's very, very happy as he leaves the cage. A great performance from him here at the Mansfield Tavern.